slap it. Is that better? <laughs> It's a gloomy day. So gloomy outside that it's really dark in here. It's a cold, wet, blustery day. <laughs> what better day for a vlog? Can I prop this up some somehow? Oh no, I can't. Can I? Can you stay there? There's a on the side. Wait, wait a minute. For a, for, for a blog? Sure. I just saw an orb. Do you see that? Do you see that? There was an orb just went. Do you see that? Which brings me really to the point of this vlog. I am moving house. I am finally moving out of this haunted house. This house is devastatingly haunted. This house was built in the 1500s and has been home and workplace to many, many people over the years. If you look through some of my previous YouTube content or any of my previous VODs on Twitch, you'll see when I'm sitting in my chair at my desk, you'll see there's shadows, there's orbs, there's all sorts, and um, there'll be movement behind me, things get moved, things get poked. I've been um, scratched recently and it is high time to be moving out of this house. It's been a... It's been a hard... Terrible... <laughs> terrible time living here in this house, honestly. I think I've just... Um, emotionally I've been through so much whilst I've been living here. I experienced a very dark period of my life whilst living here. Um, I think also made harder, made worse um, by the fact that this house is just so haunted. I'm very sensitive to energy so um, I've experienced a lot of really nasty things here. Spirits and not very nice entities have kind of, um, I think I've attracted them to me because of the things that the, the sort of dark nature of the, um, emotional things that I've been experiencing here in, in this place. But I'm pleased to say that I am very much out the other side now and very, very ready to leave this place behind <laughs> and never come back here again. And um, I mean, I know I'm, I'm speaking very negatively about this space, right? And um, I think that's only because of the nature of the things that I've experienced here. Um, but, you know, in reality, it was required, right? It, it was required for me to go through those things and I am grateful. It's been really good for the soul for me to be here, just rooted in one spot to go through those things. Maybe one day I'll actually talk about those things um, because, you know, trauma is something that lots of people experience and sometimes it can help listening to somebody else 
talking about what they've been through you know but enough doom and gloom i am so excited to be moving i can't even begin to describe and i'm really really excited to give you guys the grand tour of the new digs and um i can't wait to start working in my new office it's been a long time coming i've been here for three years now it's time for me to start a fresh chapter start a fresh book in the library of Alice. So I've started packing. This is my life in boxes and bags. Today is the day. It is 6am, 7am. And today is the day. My room is dismantled. This room is, all rooms are dismantled. And it's time to throw stuff in the car. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm excited. Are you also excited? excited? Where are you? I'm on the <laughs> We're so excited. Hello. Hello. Adventures. Oh, we're on country lanes and the car is packed. Come. We are about halfway there and we have stopped for breakfast. I have my hand back. And Canary has his coffee. <laughs> and Little Mitten <laughs> is she wants a hash brown. It's important to read your. Shut up, you're telling everybody where we live. <laughs> so. You're back online. Hello. You're on the fastest route. <laughs> We've got a key. We have the key. <laughs> <laughs> we have the key. The key. The key. We got the keys, Mitten. Are you excited? <laughs> she looks ecstatic. <laughs> I am cold and tired and I want a drink. We're here, Mitten. Here we go. It's happening. We're here. Home sweet home. Ta da. We did it. How <laughs> do you it. how do you feel? Um very excited. Yes. Very excited. Mitten. Oh, oh god. Oh no, she's away. she's just running away. <laughs> There you go. Here we go. Come on in. Have a look around. Here we go. We are now back at our humble abode and we now have to move all of that into there, which is luck. so tired <laughs> I'm so tired um, we're in made it we made it <laughs> um, I am so tired I don't even know what to say honestly I mean I know what to say <laughs> but my brain is not giving me the vocabulary required to construct sentences 
for the coherent. Um, we're in. It is half past five. I think when I started vlogging today, it was 7am. For those of you who are unaware, um, we have moved out of a, a first floor flat. So a majority of the moving has been just ferrying furniture out of the flat, down the stairs and into a van. Which doesn't sound that, you know, taxing when you're going downstairs rather than going upstairs. Moving in was fun. <laughs> um, but, you know, when you're, you're car you know, carrying like heavy stuff and furniture and awkward furniture and awkward shaped things down, you know, two sets of stairs and then another set of stairs outside. I don't know. It sounds like I'm just complaining now, which I'm really not, but I'm just illustrating the fact that I'm so tired. And uh, now this is the first time I've sat, I'm sitting on the floor. This is the first time that we've sat down all day. And um, I'm only just realising really how exhausted I feel. My legs, my legs, <laughs> my legs and my feet. So um, I will do the grand tour Um when uh, when all the furniture and everything is actually here. Still got another couple of runs to do tomorrow. We've just ordered some food to be delivered. The place that, um, that where we've come from was in the middle of nowhere and couldn't get any food delivered whatsoever. So this is like moving day treat, having some pizza delivered to the house. Um, which is pretty awesome. Christening it, right? Yes. Christening it with pizza. <laughs> pizza delivery. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say good night, beautiful faces, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We have Costa Coffee, because yeah. essential on a cold, frosty morning such as today. We are absolutely shattered from yesterday <laughs> and um, this is day two, I don't know if I said that already, day two and um, we are doing our third run. I am so sore and my brain doesn't work today apparently either. <laughs> so let's fuel up. Bit of coffee in that. And let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're back at the house and this is my nightmare. <laughs> Just stuff everywhere and um, I don't know where to start and I'm really tired and I'm really sore um, and I'm really happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. Little Mitten back there in her little box fort and there's all of this stuff there's this stuff in here and this is my office and there's just just stuff everywhere just is everywhere so i'm gonna go make a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down <laughs> for like a solid 30 minutes before I start putting furniture together. Get out of 
kitchen. <laughs> I am dead. The last time I checked in, I was going to make a cup of tea and then sit down for a solid 30 minutes, I think is what I said, before I start putting stuff together. Yeah, that didn't happen. I made a tea and then I put it down and then I did a bunch of stuff and then I drank it cold. <laughs> and now I, I have another cup of tea, which is also cold. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's a that's a thing. It has occurred to me that I have a desk job. I sit at my desk. <laughs> I I do my very best to be physically active. You know, I work out maybe four odd times a week and I make sure I get my steps in every day. And I'm always gallivanting around outside and in the woods and stuff. But it turns out that I don't physically exert myself as much as perhaps I would like to. Because this is the end of day two. I mean, it's uh, 20 past 6 p.m. I've been on my feet since I got up this morning at 7 and this is the first time pretty much I've sat down all day and actually stopped. And I am absolutely exhausted. I can't even <laughs> describe the level of exhausted that I'm feeling right now. My whole body just aches. And um, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy and I'm tired and I ache and I hurt everywhere. But this is definitely illustrated to me that I really need to do more more exercise than I already do because it's obviously not enough <laughs> this is where we're at now I mean it looks just a horrendous mess but there's lots of clear floor space oh are you stuck out there. there you go Mitten's wearing her very stylish, beautiful coat. Yes, very beautiful. Uh, because the house has been empty for about a month and it hasn't heated up properly. Hello, you're very beautiful, aren't you? Yes. She's been guarding our stuff whilst we've been gallivanting around back and forth from the old place to the new one. Haven't you? You've been... Guarding the house. So I I am done. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna order in some food and I'm gonna go to bed early and then I'm gonna do all over again tomorrow. I think there's one more trip left that needs to be done. I think she just walked into the sofa. So good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, day three. Uh, we were both so tired that we slept for almost 12 hours. <laughs> and it is now half past 11 in the morning. We're starting way later than we intended. But you know what? It's been nuts, hectic, full on exactly. So. Um, yeah, I'm in the van today with Nero. Oh, wow. Um, I've been in the car. We've had a convoy going for the last couple of days, but I mean, honestly, my legs, I looked at my Fitbit last night and because we're moving from an upstairs flat, so there's lots of stairs, obviously, I did like 36 flights of stairs yesterday. Um, which might not sound much to someone who is used to doing 36 flights of stairs every day, but I'm not. I'm used to doing like maybe six flights of stairs a day. So um, my legs basically don't work today 
I don't know if you heard me coming downstairs this morning. I was coming down step by step. It took me like a whole minute to come down the stairs. I'm like an old lady. Like an old lady. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not even sure if I'd be able to drive the car today. Uh, for those of you who are, you know, not in the UK and don't drive manual cars as standard, um, I do. We do. And the clutch. <laughs> Your clutch leg is your left leg, and my car is basically not right today, so I don't know, yeah, I don't know if I'd be able to drive you today. Um, so, thank you, Nero. You're the like, you're the you're the a trooper, like, driving when you've done the exact same big physical exertion as me. Actually, more so, because you were doing all the heavy lifting yesterday with your good friend Wayne, shout out to Wayne. Top lad, thank you so much for helping. Seriously wouldn't have been able to, to do it without you. Uh, but yeah, off we go. We're picking up a rug doctor, which is a fancy water carpet cleaning hoover. So clean all the carpets. And this is the last day of moving furniture. I'm so excited. <laughs> We have breakfast and we have coffee. All is right with the world. Well, I've had some breakfast, so I feel better. <laughs> I'm halfway through my coffee and uh, here it is, halfway through. We've picked up the. Oh, I feel like I'm on a boat. <laughs> um, we've picked up the rug doctor. Okay, here we are. This is basically the last day because tomorrow the keys are going back to the landlord and we're done. The place is completely empty. It's dark outside. Uh, Nero and I are both absolutely shattered. I'm getting a tired nod. I just wanted to kind of document um, how I'm feeling um, emotionally, I suppose. Uh, I've been living in this place for three, just over three years. For those of you who don't know, I'm very vocal about this kind of stuff on Twitch, and I think I've talked about this maybe in a in a video or two in the past. But I moved in here because I had to. I had nowhere else to go. Life was very different from for me then than it is now. I was at probably the lowest point in my life I'd ever been. And being here in this house, you know, has seen a lot of emotion from me. Like, there's been a lot of healing and, um, and hardship and more healing. And um, I put myself back together again. In this place and I think that's really significant isn't it because when you spend you know a lot of time healing from something and 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 feeling a lot of feelings it just kind of soaks into the walls you know it soaks into the environment that you're in and I and I've definitely felt that when I started to come out the other side of that hardship, um, I could still feel that like sadness in this environment. So I, you know, I'm 
I'm grateful to this place and I'm grateful to be leaving because it's definitely time for me to move on and begin the next life. <laughs> it's not even a, a new chapter. <laughs> it's not a new chapter. It's not a new volume. It's just a, it's a whole new life. Yeah, just wanted to kind of take a moment to kind of feel these things because I, I think it's important to um you know acknowledge and feel and then draw a line and then move on fresh so here we go thank you thank you house <laughs> Thank you, house, but it's time to go now. It is time. We're going to go and get some food because we're very, very hungry, very tired. I've sort of done my back in a bit, um, so I'm going to have a hot shower when we, when we get home. And uh, I will see you guys at home. Is this day three? Yeah. Four. Three? Wait. Four. four. <laughs> I'm told. It's day four. My days are blending together. Day four. We're about to uh, hand the keys back. That's it. Done so. So just give you a little tour as to what what's being left behind. Right here. This is my room, was my room, that I redecorated myself with a brand new carpet. Beautiful, beautiful. This was Nero's room. See, this is, this is what the kind of mess this place is. And that is black mold that's been there for years and we told the the landlord about it and they did absolutely nothing about it one of the reasons why we are leaving bathroom wallpaper that's probably been here since the 1970s coming off the wall coming coming off the wall <laughs> and a uh, toilet that's been leaking for about 18 months and again has been totally ignored living room more black mould in this cupboard the wall is actually dripping with water black mould next door the other side of that wall and the wall is like paper you can hear word for word through that wall that's what we've had to contend with real noisy neighbors and Nero <laughs> kitchen <clears throat> smallest kitchen in the world this gap here is too narrow for an oven, so this has been the oven for the past three years. Broken kitchen tap. Yeah, that's been our... This place has been our curse and our nightmare for um, far too long. So, um, now that we're actually leaving it, I'm happy to share with you guys what an absolute shithole this place is but yeah really glad to be leaving it really relieved to be leaving it so gonna hand the keys back in a minute and we're done 
we're going to go and get Mitten's nails did. We still haven't found a local dog groomer, so um, we're going all the way back to our old town, <laughs> which is miles away. So, sorry Mitten, but you're in for the long haul. Okay, we've just had our pedicure, haven't we? Look at those beautiful toes. Now the pitter patter isn't quite so chaotic. Little burrito. It has been one week, one one whole week and a day. Is that right? Yes. A week and a day. And um, we got back from taking little mitten to have her mittens pedicured. Um, amputated. <laughs> uh, so we thought we would just take a little trip out to see what we could find and explore a little bit as there's still maybe two hours of daylight left. I spy with my little eye <laughs> a water stones. <gasps> oh, <laughs> got elbowed quite violently there. This is my section right here. Literally a slither of a section. Yes. <laughs> So we just found a Warhammer shop and I didn't want to film in there because it was like close quarters and the place was packed and it didn't seem appropriate to um, really film in there. But they have Warhammer stuff, obviously, loads of dice and Magic the Gathering cards. And I know that some of you are probably listening to this going, well, yeah, obviously that's what you find in Warhammer shops. But our old local Warhammer shop did not sell dice. Or they li or, or loose cards. Yeah, you no. couldn't go rummaging around making up your own like magic card uh, decks or anything. Um, found my new favourite shop. Sixteen eighty three. Wow, that's almost as old as you. <laughs> Okay, good shots. Neil and Abby, a blossoming romance, perhaps? I think she's going to be an elderly girl. Oh. Well, that popped my bubble. But maybe a bit of old hair on the go. <laughs> 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 Do they? Jesus. <laughs> 